be taken care of from the pterygoid implant so we will go systematically Madam, so first step you want to plan for pterygoid what's your first step treatment planning template with that you will get a tentative length not a final length huh? tentative length number one and you will get a tentative start point very important same length ne? length and start point for your pterygoid implant correct madam so that's point number one point number two sir after TPT, what you will do? No. Wrong. Okay. Correct, sir. You? Palpation of, palpation of what? Amulet notch. And? Amulet notch. Of? Of the medial territory. Perfect. Okay. Now I have palpated the amulet process of medial territory plate. What is my tentative direction of putting the C finder? Posterior. Uh, Buccolingual, buccopalatal, distal and superior. Perfect. Okay. So, when my finger is at the amula process, I will take my C finder and I will put my C finder bucco to palatal, superior, distal till I get a point of resistance. After I get resistance, what I will do, madam? Sir, after getting the resistance, we will uh, take out the C finder. No. no we'll you will tap, tap on it. The tap will take away the pseudo resistance, which means there is a bone which is probably behaving like fusion zone, but it is not fusion zone. Wo nikal jayega. Wo nikal jane ke baad, when you tap, you will confirm with the noise and with the dead end resistance. Dead end matlab uske aage jai nahi sakte. It is confirming that now you are 100 percent in the fusion zone. Barabar hai. Ab kya karna hai, madam? Next step. So the first file, one. It, uh, Perfect. So you will drill with the 1.8 drill. Nee, after drill is also. One point. We are perfect, madam. So you will drill. Next step is to drill with the 1.8 mm drill from the impact R line kit at roughly 3 to 5000 RPM using the straight hand piece. Focusing on the final 2 millimeter via the channel created from with the C finder. Am I correct? Now, when I pierce or I perforate the fusion zone, I look out for two things. One is the drill should come out with clean white bone. And secondly, there will be minimal bleeding from the osteotomy, which confirms that there is no unnecessary engagement of muscle. Mm. Fair enough. Uske baat ka point, madam. Next. What do you want? Perfect. Why? To see, to see the quality of the bone. And we can and to judge the torque which we are getting. Perfect. Yes. So to add on to this, so once I place the osteo tap, I am noticing multiple things. 